Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, you know we're going to talk about a little bit the future of Windows 10 once again as we uh, learn that uh, the next version well you know not just the next version but soon um, apparently Microsoft is kind of um, backing off of one thing that it actually wanted to keep um, you know not a lot of people are using the different apps that come with Windows 10 let's face it most people use other things you know uh, Google Chrome is an example most people use Chrome as a browser so we were learning you know of course the mail app is not a bad app it I find it nice and it probably still needs a little bit of tweaking but I find it still a nice app and I actually use it in Windows 10 it is uh, the mail app that I use instead of going on the um, you know web interface of most of the different uh, emails now this is my insider machine so it has only the hotmail account that I've got but in my main machine um, the mail app has actually five gmails one yahoo and um, one hotmail so I kinda like it I uh, kinda find the app interesting but one of the biggest issues and that's been a rant that a lot of people have been complaining about when you click a link in one of the emails it opens on Microsoft Edge and even if you went to change the default it does that and it does that on many of the main Windows app and a lot of people have been telling me oh I think Windows 10 is broken my computer when I click a link in one or this app or that app it opens Edge it doesn't want to open my Google Chrome and the thing is it's not a bug it's intentional Microsoft is doing that intentionally they want you to use Edge problem is most people don't want to use Edge and don't care for Edge so the decision that they actually took to um, eventually, we don't know if it's available now or, or when, I'll try it regularly and, and probably let you know, but the, what they are planning to do is to let your default browser open when you click a link, um, especially in the mail app. Now you know what, this is a good thing and I think this is what Microsoft needs to focus on. Let the user decide what app they are using, what program they are using. Stop telling the user you got to use this or you got to use that and this. Just giving some slack here. Just letting people use whatever they want is already going to make a big difference in how Windows 10 is loved or hated depending on what camp you are. And if it lets you do what you want, I think it's just a positive point. It's a positive point for the user it's a positive point for the company, for Microsoft, because it, they are going to be at least, um, you know, giving what users want and users will be happier with that. Let's hope it does that and they do that with other apps also and other programs because I think it's really, really nice that they finally kind of decide that maybe that's what we want to do. Um, you know, one of the biggest problems, because until we had, you know, Windows 8, um, pretty much everything was done in the right way in terms of if you want to use something else, you use something else, and it would respect the choice of you using something else. Um, in Windows 10, for some reason, somebody decided on Microsoft, well, let's force everybody to use this or Edge or whatever, and which, which is always a bad thing. I mean not that Edge is good or bad or anything. I use Edge um, as my main browser. I like it. Not everybody does. And, you know, you got to respect the fact that people want to use something else. Well, it's okay. They're going to use something else. So, uh, you know, I hope they're going through with that decision. And uh, I hope they're going to respect more of what people want to do and want to choose in the near future. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.